All the readings of today are wonderful readings uh, aiming at making us aware of the coming of Jesus. There is a story told, and this is an uh, event that took place in the beginning of the 20th century. In 1900, around, there was a man called Lieutenant Ernest Shackleton. You must have heard about him. And so he went to take a, an expedition to uh, Antarctica. He picked up 29 men and took them along on this expedition. So after a few days of journeying towards the Antarctica, it was unfortunate that their ship went aground near an island called Elephant Island. They were in great distress, and so Ernest, Lieutenant Ernest Shackleton made a boat, and then they got five men together with him, got into the boat and came to see some help around. They journeyed around 700 miles and they found a whaling station. That means they were fishing whales there. And so these five uh, men plus Ernest, uh, uh, Ernest Shackleton took some rest, refreshed themselves, and they prepared a boat to come and pick up these 25 men, 24 men who are stranded there near the Elephant Island. And so they started to take this journey, but then they could not. They failed because of the heavy winds and the storm and the icy weather. And so they returned back. After a few weeks, they again started to go Again, they fail second time. They fail a third time. And only on the fourth attempt, they succeeded in penetrating the stormy weather and reaching to this man who was stranded for maroon there near this island. They were all safe. They survived themselves on, on penguins and seals. But the one thing is that they expressed their joy and their hope. They said that they were hopeful that one day Lieutenant Ernest Shackleton will return. They hope if he is alive, he will surely come. Well, this story is simply to explain that the church also awaits her Lord Jesus, awaits with hope. And that's why the, the church is preparing us to be attentive, to be hopeful, and to be prepared ourselves to welcome Jesus, our God. Well, the first reading, and I would like to reflect with you on the first reading, the prophet Isaiah. Wonderful. Prophet Isaiah is dreaming of a people of a nation that will be, regardless of any nationality or regardless of any age or gender, regardless of any color or caste or culture, they will all come to the Lord at his invitation. And so we are told that the beautiful imagery that is given by prophet Isaiah is the imagery of peace, imagery of harmony among people. And that is what will welcome the people. And so I'm reminded of a, an, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, story that I read about a sculptor, um, who has made this beautiful sculpture. It is outside the United Nations building in New York. I haven't been there, but then I read about that. This is a muscular, uh, strong a male figure, a statue holding in one hand a sword and in the other 
he is wielding a hammer. This statue was made by a Russian sculptor called Eugeny Lusetik. Uh, it was presented to the United Nations by the former Soviet Union and it is in front of the United Nations building in New York. And so what it reminds is that Prophet Isaiah has written this, the swords will be uh, beaten into plowshares and the spears will be beaten into pruning hooks. And these very words are inscribed at the base of this statue. Meaning to say that people will work for peace and harmony. And this is the vision that the prophet has. The people will be working towards peace and harmony. People will be having a transformation of their heart and of their mind. People will be like lights to the nations. As uh, St. Paul writes to the Romans today, we hear that. Being light and that light we get from the baptism of ours and during the baptism in Jesus himself. And so what is important for us to know that how we are going to welcome Jesus what is the transformation that is required in me? What are the things that I need to prune myself? What are the things that I need to reverse in my life? And so as to prepare for the coming of Jesus. In the gospel, Jesus is reminding his disciples that they need to be alert and awake at all times. We need to make a place for God in our life, being aware of God's presence. And so, whenever things happening in our life, very important to know that God is there. I remember um, one of our formators uh, during our formation time, anytime we would see a movie, uh, he would ask us, where do you see God in that movie? Where do you find God in that movie or in that incident? In our life too, maybe in our relationship, where do I find God? And so it is important for us also to be mingling with people, to be integrating with people. Tomorrow if the Lord asks us, or I ask the Lord, where, do, where were you, Lord, in my life? The Lord will say, come and see. I was there in the poverty of the people. I was there in the hurt of the people. I was there in the grief and pain of the people. Come and see. An important thing is to be uh, being aware of the presence of the Lord and to make a way that is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. That's how St. Matthew, what he, for, for him, what it is to be preparing is to preparing in the spirit of the Lord, spirit of kindness, spirit of love, and spirit of preparation like the Beatitudes. And so let us ask the Lord grace for ourselves that we may be bringing some changes in our life and in the world, changes where we see poverty, oppression, injustice, inequality. Can I make a difference in the world? And so let us ask the Lord grace as we stand to prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus uh, during this time of the Christmas. What changes I can make uh, in me and in the world so as to prepare myself to welcome Jesus this Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.